So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about what would you do if your spouse does not support your business, does not support your career, does not support what it is that you're trying to accomplish in life. So those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Katun. I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact one million lives. Um, just about, well, 2014 is when I met my wife. Uh, so now it's about eight years ago. And uh, there's a funny story around it because um, we met about six months after I had bought my restaurant. And um, I was actually in the middle of, I was talking to her, one of, to one of her friends. And uh, they just happened to come visit me uh, at my restaurant. And then my wife came with her to visit me. And uh, I just simply saw her and I'm like, who's that? I need to talk to her. Two weeks later was her birthday. I slid in her DMs and, um, you know, and we started talking, and then two, three months later, we started dating, and four years later, we got married. So, um, but then one thing is, over the years, I realized that my wife wasn't entrepreneurial. You know, when I discovered Amazon FBA and I became successful, I tried to teach it to her, and then she started kind of, you know, we opened her own store, she started doing it, and then she just lost interest. Um, when I started BJK University and the team started growing, I, you know, I gave her a role in the company, and for about three or four months, I have a, an amazing relationship with my team, but my relationship with my wife was starting to decline because, you know, she wasn't passionate about the, th the role, right? And I couldn't, I, I saw that I it was either, you know, a good husband and wife relationship or a, you know, like you work in my company and, and you kind of need to do what I'm telling you in relationship, right? And so over the years, I struggled with, um, I guess I'm going to say it, making my wife become entrepreneurial. I would take her with me to conferences. I would have her, like when I meet an entrepreneur, I'll double date with them and their wife. So that way, my, my wife is involved in these conversations, right? And for the longest time, I struggled. And I really just, you know, like I felt like, there was so much missed opportunity, well, not missed opportunity, but so much missed potential in her because I knew that she could become so much more. And she had a job when I met her and up until recently, up until COVID, she had a job. She was a dental assistant. She went to school for it. She really enjoyed it. Every single dental office she worked at, she was the highest performing. So it's not like she wasn't you know, working or she was lazy or anything. She just was not interested in becoming an entrepreneur. And that was, I struggled with that for the longest time because I felt like if you're not trying to become an entrepreneur, if you want, if you don't want to accomplish more in life, you're a complete loser, right? And so for me, it was a, a struggle for many years. And then what I realized was, you know, and this was a realization that I just came to understand like recently was that some people are meant to, you know, go to space like Elon Musk and, and do crazy things. There are some people that are meant to uh, and will, you know, uh, 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 invent the next thing and, and, and change the world. And then there are some people that are just going to have a job and they're just going to go about the world, uh, about their day and about their life and, and just, you know, uh, uh, ha get married, have kids, put their kids through college or whatever, get a degree. And that's all their life is going to be. And in society, in the world, we need both people. We need the people that are going to go out there and change the world and invent the new things. And we also need the workers, the everyday person that's going to just have a job and, 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 and try to do you know, uh, uh, the, the thing, right? And then when you look at it from a perspective of, depends on which group you're in. You know, if you're watching this channel, I'm assuming you're, maybe you're, you're here, you've got a job, but then you want to kind of do this. But even trying to do this, which is like trying to accomplish something great, it's like, how much will you go? Like, are you going to be the next Elon Musk, you know? Or are you just someone that's like, well, I'm making $4,000 a month right now working for someone that I don't really enjoy. I would rather do that from the comfort of my home or have my own business. But I'm not really trying to build a multi-million, multi-billion dollar business. That's not what I'm trying to accomplish, right? So, or you're maybe, you know, uh, the complete opposite. You are someone that's just going about life and maybe you just came across my channel by accident and you're like, you look at the, these people or even you look at me and you're like, yeah, but 
you try to avoid all the, you know, try to avoid paying taxes and you try to do all these things. And then now I'm the villain in this story, right? Where like in, in these other people, this other group of people that are trying to accomplish great things, they look at you maybe, or they look at the people that are here, which, you know, they're just waking up, going to, going to school, going to work, whatever. And then they, you know, these are the villain in their story, right? So it just kind of depends on where you are in the spectrum. Doesn't matter. Regardless where you are, if you just want to be this, and you're happy with that, great. If you wanna do that, and that's what you wanna do, awesome. There's opportunity for, for both people to accomplish whatever they want to accomplish, and you're not a bad person. And it took me a long time for me to understand that and to realize that, because for me, because I am trying to accomplish great things in life, I thought people that are not are just villains and that they're complete losers, right? And so that was why I was struggling with my wife, because she wasn't trying to accomplish anything great, but then, when I looked at a relationship, I was like, you know, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't married. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her because I had that support. Although she did not understand what I was doing, although she did not know what was going to happen because for the longest time there, you know, my business wasn't really doing anything, right? And from the outside looking in, it's like, dude, this, what is this loser doing all day on the computer, um, just smashing buttons away and not really doing anything great? I love my mother-in-law. She's, I think she's amazing. And, and that was one of the reasons why I got married to my wife, because I always thought her parents need to be awesome. And when I met her parents, I was like, yes, that's it. Um, but one day I still remember, and this was like 2017, 2018 maybe, I was sitting in their living room smashing my laptop, and I used to take my laptop everywhere. I mean, it doesn't matter if I was at a wedding or if I was out at a restaurant, my laptop was with me, and I was just smashing away 24-7, every waking moment. And she's like to me, is this what you're going to do for the rest of your life, or are you planning on getting a real job? And it took so much from me not to get up and smash my laptop on her head. I love her to death. But to her, looking inside, it's like this loser is about to get married to my daughter. Like he doesn't have a job. I don't know what the hell he's doing with his computer all day. Like where is this gonna go, right? And she was concerned, you know? So my friends come to me sometimes and they say, you know, successful entrepreneurs, and they say, hey man, like what tips do you have for me to, um, to find in a girl, because I'm always finding, you know, single guys, early 20s, making great money. Um, how do I, like, what do I do to, like, I'm always chasing girls, and I always want to find a girl, but then when I meet someone, I don't know if they're interested in me, or if they're interested because I'm, I make a lot of money, and I'm like, honestly, I, I don't have an advice for you, because when I met my wife, I was at my, well, I wasn't at my lowest, but six months after I met her, I went to my lowest, and then she's been around with me. So, I guess, my thing for you guys here is if you are in a relationship and they're not someone, you are watching this channel, so I am assuming that you are wanting to change your life, you are wanting to impact your life, you're wanting to do something different in life, and maybe you have a spouse, or maybe that is not even your spouse, maybe that's a sibling or your parents or your kids or whatever it is for you, maybe it's your best friends. Number one, it's important for you to have their support, right? And I read a quote um, just the other day. I was reading a book. He said, um, ideas are not supposed to be imposed. People are supposed to be sold into your ideas. Be persuasive. So don't just go and say, this is what we're going to do. This is what I'm going to do. You either like it or you get the fuck out, right? And I know I've done that a lot with my wife, and that wasn't the best thing. That wasn't the best, because I find myself two, three years later needing to reclose her on the idea why that was the best option two, three years ago, because she'll come around and say, why the fuck did we do this? You know, why did we move to Miami? Why did we, you know? It seems like you get your way in everything, right? And then I go back and I say, but you're not seeing the future. Well, it's not that she's not seeing the future, it's that I did not close her on the idea why this is the better option than what we had before. It was, I imposed the idea, I did not, I wasn't persuasive, right? So that's very important. Now, if you don't have the support of your, your peers, people around your spouse, and they are interfering with what you're trying to accomplish, again, be persuasive. And explain to them why this thing is going to be important, because it will happen, and you will get to the point where you're not going to be able to do both. And that's why you see a lot of 
uh, great relationships simply go their separate ways because one person wanted to completely change how life is done and then they were not persuasive in explaining why the next the new thing is the better thing and they simply imposed the idea the partner came around and then after a while it just got they got over it and then it just became very difficult and they said fuck this and then they walked away so be persuasive and have their support right um but then the other thing that's very important is do not expect other people to be like you right and just because you want their support you must be supportive of their choices for me my wife all she wants in life is to have kids and be a great mother right and and just simply be able to spend time with her family so i took her away and then we went to miami and then everyone lives in san diego the way the reason why you see this background is because we are in a hotel right now in san diego we're visiting family for easter and um and so i simply said hey if you want to visit your family if that's what you want to do whenever you want here's my car number just book a flight and then go to san diego and go spend a week with your family you know i had not seen her in like about 20 some days uh, i don't know if you guys been following me on instagram but i've been traveling going to different masterminds and she's been gone she went to vegas to visit her sister since like the 25th of march and then we just literally saw each other two days ago which was the um, uh what was it the 14th or something like that of april right so for three weeks i had not seen her but it was okay. She trusts me, I trust her. She went and saw her, uh, her sister and then she went to San Diego and then we met in San Diego, right? So I am now understanding, this took me like seven years to finally realize that, look, if I want her support, because I then look back and say, you know, would I have been able to accomplish the kind of success that I had if, it, if I didn't have her in my life? And although she wasn't like doing my payroll for me or helping me in the company or any of that, but she was supportive of what I was doing, right? And so if I didn't have that, you know, sometimes you just need that person to just be there, do nothing, just be there, right? Um, if I hadn't, if I didn't have that, I would have maybe been chasing girls. Maybe I would have found a, a girl in the wrong time, you know, because I met her again when I was at my bottom, right? And so, and then she's, you know, she's been able to see me at my lowest. Well, we met, we were here. We went like this and then we you know we're going up now and she's been throughout the entire journey with me and so that's really good and i appreciate that of her but then now i need to be supportive of her choices right and it can't i can't be imposing my ideas on her it's like look this is what i believe is the right thing here is why it is and we won't do it unless i sell you on it then we will do it right like right now when i go to my team um I don't say, hey guys, this is the direction that I want to take in the company. This is what we're going to do. It's not that. I start planting seeds. Hey guys, what if we did that? Imagine how it would be if we did this. What if we started doing this thing? What if we launched this thing? And a little by little, I start like adding, you know, planting seeds and adding things in their path to make it look like it's actually their idea, not even mine, right? Because when you, when you, when someone tells you to do something, you, you, you oppose it. But when it's your idea, you're more sold on it and you have to be sold on ideas, right? It's all, we're, we're selling each other every single day. You're selling me, I'm selling you, you're selling your parents, I'm selling my wife. We're all selling each other all day, every day and we have to be persuasive about what we're trying to do and it can't be just because, you know, because it's your idea, you just impose on everyone else and you expect everyone else to simply say, yes sir, got it and then just simply be okay with you and they might say, yes sir, got it today but trust me, in six months, a year, two years, three years, it'll come up and then it'll be so toxic that, you know, that person might not end up in your life anymore. Hope this helps you guys. Um, let me know below this, uh, this video, um, you know, how that relates to you in your life and what are some things that maybe you've done successfully where you sold someone on something that you wanted to do or maybe you, you try to impose an idea on someone and then it just blew up in your face later. Uh, let me know in the comments. And if this is your first time on the channel, consider subscribing and smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.